Here is a plane mirror. Let me draw a line at 90 degrees to the surface of the mirror. This line is known as the normal. If I shine an incident ray at the mirror, I can mark out the angle here, which is the angle of incidence I. The angle that the reflected ray makes with the normal is known as the angle of reflection R. The angle of incidence here is measured to be 30 degrees. And the angle of reflection is also 30 degrees. This confirms the law of reflection, which says that the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. You might be asked to complete a reflection diagram in your GCSE exam. I will always start by labeling the incident ray and then marking out the normal. Measure the angle of incidence and then reflect it at the same angle so that you can draw your reflected ray. And that's a ray diagram to show reflection. When I shine light onto a smooth surface, all the light rays will reflect at the same angle. All these rays are parallel to each other. We call this type of reflection a specular reflection. What about a rough surface? This ray of light might be reflected at this angle. But this ray here might hit the surface at a different angle, so that it reflects like this. And this ray here, it might reflect differently compared to the other rays. When the reflected rays are not parallel, we call this a diffused reflection. We can make a comparison using my hand and my phone. Which one shows a specular reflection and which one shows a diffused reflection? You can see that the light is much more intense. It stays narrow when it is reflected from my phone. But on my hand, you can see that the reflected light is going in different directions, making it much more diffused.